The people in most danger with the IRS are people who don't respond to IRS letters in three days or less. It's that simple. You want to have everything go great with the IRS? When you get that letter, yes, you're going to be scared. Yes, your heart rate's going to go up and, and all the worst fears are going to come up. That's kind of normal. Even I feel that when I get a letter from the IRS. But that doesn't mean you should put your head in the sand and not act. Even if the letter is as simple as saying, I need another 60 days or 90 days to investigate, I promise I will get back to you by whatever it is, June 1st. That's a perfectly legitimate response. The IRS does that to you, don't they? It's not 90, it's 60 days. When you send them something that they need more investigation around, they'll happily send you that. I mean, how many of those have I got? 90, 100 in my life? They're, they'll do it to you. So stay your process or respond if you know how to, but don't wait past three days. Mark is correct. Even though the IRS give you 30 days to respond to most letters, if you would respond within three days, at least you would do it before you get busy with other things. Because most of IRS cases, they get complicated if you don't respond on time. Take it from me, it's always easier to resolve your tax case within three days of receiving your first letter.